Today we are going to be learning a new grapheme for our phoneme OR. So see if you can tell me which of our friends already makes that OR grapheme. We already know one of our pictophones which is OR. Is it going to be the ape in a cape? No. Was it going to be the ice cream feeling supreme? No, he doesn't make the OR sound is it? Is it going to be the OON on the moon? One's the oo sound. Is it going to be the oyster? Feeling moister. Oyster. And we're looking for or. Is that the same sound? No. <laughs> oh, is it going to be the organ? Played by Captain Morgan. Fantastic. So we already know that the organ played by Captain Morgan makes that or sound. In a moment, we're going to have a look at the way that we already know of writing the OR sound. And today, we're gonna to learn another way to write that OR sound. Okay, so our first activity is quick write. So you need your pen and your board. I'm going to tell you a phoneme. See if you can write the grapheme on your board and turn it around and show me the correct grapheme. So we'll start off a little bit easy. The phoneme is T. What does the grapheme look like for t, t, t? Nice. Perfect. I can see lots of t, t, t on your board. Fantastic. Okay, rub it off or you can write it next to it. Show me the grapheme for the sh sound. The sheep in a jeep. This one's a digraph, so there's two letters. Nice. Sh, sh. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, I can see lots of S and H and when they're together, it makes that shh sound. See if you can write me the grapheme for I. Let's give you a clue. This one's a trigraph. So there's three letters that make that one sound I. You've got all three letters, right? in a little bit of a different order. See if you can remember the order that they come in. Brilliant. Nice. We're gonna have an I, a G and a H, which all three of those letters together make that phoneme I. Brilliant. It's hard to remember which order they go in, isn't it? I, then G and H. You're right. I and, oh, you did both. I and an E also makes the phoneme I. You did both too. See, you're even better than me. Wow, yeah, sometimes we can have just an I on its own as well, can't we? That makes an I sound. Brilliant, okay, clear your boards and then lids on pen. We said at the start of the lesson that we were gonna be looking at our organ played by Captain Morgan and learning a new grapheme to make the OR sound. Which way, which grapheme do we already know to make the OR phoneme? Put your hands up, Brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic. We already know an O and an R. I love how you use the letter names as well to say those. Well done. We already know an O and an R makes that phoneme OR. Okay, we're going to learn a new one, which is an A and a W, which also makes that phoneme OR. Can anyone remember our action for our organ played by Captain Morgan? And the sound goes OR, OR. Fantastic, as he plays the organ, he makes a nice deep OR, OR. Brilliant, okay. We are going to play a little game called Word Mood. I'm going to write you a word and we're going to decode it together and read it in different moods. Okay, so your first word is this word here. Shall we decode together? We've got R or raw. Fantastic. What? Pop your hand up if you have a mood that we should read this word in. Angry. Okay, ready? Get your best angry voice on. We're going to decode it first and then read it. Oh, 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 oh. Your next word. And we're going to read this one. Sad. 
Something really sad just happened. Are we ready to decode it? <laughs> Very good. I am going to show you. I'm going to write you a phrase on the board. We'll decode it together. And then you need to tell me if it's true or false. Okay, don't decode just yet. We'll decode all together as a class. So we've got A, P, I, G, Pig, Has, Egg, Claw. Are we reading? A pig has a claw. Is that true or false? Does a pig have a claw? You can show me with your thumbs. True or false? False. Pigs don't have claws. They have trotters, don't they? Fantastic. Okay, your next phrase is... A dog has a claw. Oh, we read it. A dog has a claw. True or false? Lots of thumbs up. True. Dogs do have paws, don't they? Put your hand up if you can tell me which word in that sentence has my new or grapheme in it. Oh, lovely hands up. Well done. Paw. Well done. It was on the end here, look, wasn't it? In the word paw. Super duper. I am going to give you a phrase. See if you can write it on your boards. So you need your pens in your hand again. We'll start off with a word then. So see if you can write me the word raw. Fantastic. You could add sound buttons to your words if you want to be super fancy. Superstar. So we should all have r or raw on our boards. Okay, rub it out or you can find a space underneath. See if you can write me. I saw a red hawk. A hawk as a type of bird. So I saw a red hawk. Brilliant. Remember those full stops because it's the end of a sentence. Go check yours looks like mine. I or saw a red, red hawk. hawk. Scrub the decks and, and abandon the ship. ship.